All right, so I'm going to be checking out, out Suck Up. It's a game that's doing the rounds at the moment in terms of streamer bait, uh, but it's genuinely a good looking game. I've seen like five minutes of it. But the premise of it is you're a vampire and you need to devour people. And so you dress up in costumes and you go to a house and you just try to con them into letting you in. The unique thing about this is that it works off AI and voice recognition. So, wow, I have food. hey yo, what's poppin'? You here to challenge me to a dance battle or something? Yes, it is I. I am the pop princess from Yakuza Five, and I am here to challenge you to a dance battle. Let's get it on. Uh, sorry, but I don't even handle dance. I don't think I can handle a dance battle with a pop princess from Yakuza already. <laughs> nah, fam, gotta pass on that dance battle. My schedule's packed right now. Catch you on the flip side, though. God damn it. Okay, well, already a failure. Well, dude, what brings you to my humble abode at this hour? Did you come to discuss the latest blockchain innovations? Or are you just here for the life-changing ride of Bitcoin? Hello, good sir. I am here to sell you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I am here to sell you this picture of a bridge, but not the actual picture, just a receipt. Thanks for the offer, but I'm not really buying receipts for bridge pictures. I'll pass on the opportunity. Good luck, though. I said sir. I would not say sir. I was playing a character. What's up, dude? Can you please keep your midnight shenanigans away from my domain of eternal darkness? It's, like, so annoying. I'm so tired of the light, and heard around the neighborhood that you have a pretty sick domain of darkness. Can we bask in the glory of the night together? Look, I get it. Darkness is my thing, but you can't just waltz here and expect to bask in the glory of the night like it's some kind of party. Darkness isn't just a trend. It is who I am. So unless you're ready to fully commit to the emo life, I suggest you find somewhere else to hang. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to commit. I have six copies of Green Day's debut album on me right now. Would you like to listen to them? Wait, did you say Green Day? Dude, those guys are legends. If you're serious about embracing the emo life, then we can definitely chill and listen to some Green Day together. Just don't expect me to crack a smile, okay? Yeah, don't expect me to crack a smile either. Smile is such a conformist thing to do anyway. <laughs> Finally, someone who gets it. Smiles are totally overrated, so I gotta admit, you seem legit. But before I let you into my darkness, then, I need you to know. Can you recite the lyrics to Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance? Psh, singing is conformist, man. True fans don't need to prove it. Seriously, you're gonna play that card? Look, I know singing can be cheesy and all, but it's like the ultimate emo anthem. If you can't hum along to Welcome to the Black Parade, how am I supposed to know you're the real deal? I'm starting to doubt your commitment, man. I'm starting to doubt your commitment. What's this? You grilling me about being a fan? How dare you? You're not a true fan either. Unless you let me in, that is. Whoa, whoa, hold up. You don't get to question my commitment, okay? I've been living the emo life since before you were born. And just because you can't have a little skepticism doesn't mean you automatically get access to my domain. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I thought I had it. I was playing the ego card. Oh, well. Nothing, nothing yet. Hello. 
Well, 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 who do we have here? State your business and prepare to face the consequences. I have a gigantic bowl of gabagool and spaghetti. Would you like to have some? Gobblegool and spaghetti, huh? That's an offer I can't refuse, but I ain't letting just anyone into my turf. Tell me, what's the catch? Uh, no catch there, Paisano. Listen, if the gobblegool and spaghetti ain't enough for you, I got some lasagna as well in the car. Alright, Paisano, you got my attention with that lasagna, but I, before I let you in, I gotta ask. You ain't wearing no wire, are ya? Can't let no snitches into my territory. Snitches get stitches, don't you worry. You can check if you want. That's what I like to hear. No snitches on you. Welcome to my turf, Paisano. Let's dig into that bowl of gabagool, spaghetti, and lasagna. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I ain't no sleeping with the vampires! Alright, there we go. <laughs> I love the music, it's like... Fake Benny Hill. Okay, so we can now become the mobster if we want. Who should we go see? Uh-oh, 5 -oh. Imagine just not straight up telling the Emo Kid you're a vampire and want to suck their blood. Holy crap, that might be a valid strategy. What? Konnichiwa, Sony-kun! OMG, what a surprise to see you at my doorstep late at night. I hope you're not here to challenge me to a du duel or anything. Hello. I decided to give up my life of legitimate businesses and become kawaii. Can you teach me how to become kawaii? Oh my gosh, a fellow kawaii enthusiast. I would absolutely be delighted to teach you the ways of kawaii. First things first, we need you to work on your wardrobe. Have you considered cute pastel color colored clothes and accessorizing with bows and ribbons? Kawaii, ne? Oh my god, that sounds so kawaii des. Please, tell me more. What should I wear on my head? Sugoi! So for the ultimate kawaii look, you can try wearing a fluffy animal ear headband like cute Nekomimi, or perhaps a big floppy bow that matches your outfit. It's all about adding that extra touch of cuteness, Des. Oh damn, and I just gave away my last fluffy animal headband. Do you have any spare you could lend me? Arigato gozaimasu, gangsta-san. I have just the perfect fluffy animal headband for you. Please come inside and I can lend it to you. <laughs> it's alright, he's gone. I didn't even finish my cosplay! Well, this, I, I, so far so good. And where's the pink outfit? Pink outfit is gone. Alright, let's just go with this. He's the wave from the hypothetical, you ass. Oh no. Hey there, office superstar. What's the occasion? What brings you knocking so late at night? I hope it's something epic because I'm ready to bring that energy and excitement. Wait a minute, is this Mr. Beast? Hello there, good sir. I have an idea for a video that will get you one million likes. And all you have to do is dunk someone in a tank of lard. 
<laughs> uh, thanks for the suggestion, but I'm going to pass on that lard dunking video. It's not my style, you know? But hey, keep those ideas coming, and maybe we'll find something that's a better fit. Damn it. I guess Mr. Beast has standards. Uh oh, neighborhood watch. Shit. Gotta do something for charity? Damn it, I should have added for charity. Would you dunk yourself into a tank of lard for, ta for charity? Are they still chasing me? God, there's so many of them. Pesky police. Well, ain't you a tall drink of water? What brings you to my neck of the woods? And nothing but your birthday suit. Please help me. Someone stole all my clothes and it's freezing outside and I don't have any money. Please. Sorry there, bud. But I can't have you wandering around in my your birthday suit. Best find a way. Really? Find some clothes? You... you f Grr! Wow, that's cruelty. I'm naked. Yeah, but I explained why I'm naked. Someone stole all my clothes. I'm asking for help. We're neighbors. What on earth are you doing on my doorstep half naked? Put some clothes on. No, please help. Someone stole all my clothes. They mugged me. And the neighbor next door won't help. Please, you're my last hope. Help me. I'm sorry to hear that, but I can't help you. You should call the police or find someone else to assist you. Goodbye. Fucking heartless motherfuckers. <laughs> who are you and who are you here? Please tell me you're not here because of my daughter. Good evening, sir. We've heard reports of someone stealing clothes in the neighborhood. We believe your daughter might be involved. Would I be able to come in and ask you some questions? <laughs> what? My daughter would never be involved like something like that. I don't want any trouble. I think it's best you leave now. Goodbye. God damn it! <laughs> You can't say goodbye. I am the police. I am the law. No way. My daughter would never stoop so low as to steal clothes. This conversation is over. Goodbye. I thought that was going to work. Whoa, 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 what in the world is going on here? Can I help you with something? Hello, neighbor. Listen, have you had some fake police officer knock on your door? I'm here war warning the neighbors. I think that I messed it up. <laughs> fake police officers? Oh no, that's terrible. I haven't experienced that myself, but it's definitely something to be cautious about. Thank you for warning us, neighbor. No problem. They go around and they start blaming your relatives for something they didn't do, like stealing clothes. Oh no, that absolutely is unacceptable. We'll need to look out for each other. If anything like that happens, make sure to report it to the authorities right away. Our family's safety is our top priority. Absolutely, and worst of all, they distract you at the door and then someone else sneaks in through your back window to plant bugs. Have you noticed any bugs in your house? Bugs in the house? That's a nightmare. I haven't noticed anything suspicious, but now I'm worried. I better double check every nook and cranny to make sure there are no wanted guests. Thanks for the help, neighbor. No problem. Hey, listen, if you want, I can help. They did it to my house, and I know exactly what I'm looking for. 
That's incredibly kind of you, neighbor. I really appreciate your offer to help. Please come in and show me what to look for. I can use all the help I can get. All right, we got there in the end. I'm not ready for the big sleep. All right, cool. Oh, Homer Benign? What a surprise to see you here so late. Is everything okay, dear? I noticed you have cleaning supplies outside your house. I got worried. Is there anything okay? Wait, that's bad. I can't cancel it. <laughs> it's gonna say what that's bad. <laughs> oh dear, I apologize for the mess outside. I was just tidying up. How do you cancel the speech? I appreciate your concern. Oh, ah. Yeah, that was my bad. I messed up. I had something and then like, I thought, no way, it's a bad idea. Oh, well. Uh-oh. What? Oh, he can't jump the fence. Need to get 31 people, yeah. Each one has a method to it. <laughs> Jessica overworked. Ugh, what is it now, Homer? Can't I just get one goddamn moment of peace? What's so important that made you knock my door at this ungodly hour? Jessica. I've realized that I'm in love with you. Can we talk about this? Are you kidding me, Homer? I don't have time for your ridiculous crushes. Get out of my office and focus on something important for once. Your office? This, this is your house! Okay, that didn't work. Oh, my delicate sensibilities. What a delightful surprise to have you knocking on my door at such an hour. How absolutely thrilling. Fragile Fred. Fred. I have wings growing out of my back. What do I do? Hello, my boy. Oh, how dare you come here with your wild stories and attempt to disturb my fragile state of mind. I simply cannot handle such nonsense. Goodbye. Well, fuck you too. Well, 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 look who it is. Homer Benign, my nosy neighbor. What brings you here at this ungodly hour? Did the grass tell you a secret? Or did you just miss my charming company? Oh, I missed your charming company. That's why I'm here. Oh, ah, flattery will let you get you nowhere, Homer. Homer. But I must admit, your brown quiff and suspenders combo make you look like a hipster version of a 1950s dad. To spill the beans, what's the latest gossip in the neighborhood? I've heard there's someone going around impersonating police officers trying to steal clothing. Have you had a gun? Impersonating police officers to steal clothing? Now that's a new low. Who would do such a thing? I guess we need a fashion police to catch these fashion thieves. What? Say, Homer, have you seen any suspicious, anyone suspicious lurking around? I have indeed. They were hanging around your house just 30 minutes ago. That's why I came over, to be honest. Hmm. You think you can fool me with that story, Homer? Nice try, but I'm not falling for it. I had enough of your pranks. Now get lost before I give you a reason to run away for real. What? Well, well, what do we have here? The link, the missing link between a math textbook. Speak up, nerd. I haven't got all night. Hello, my name is Joma, and um, I'm here to invite you to a concert. Hi, 
Concert, huh? What kind of music are we talking about here? If it's anything like your fashion sense, I might consider it. It's this new band. You probably haven't heard of them because they're brand new and you have to be into music to know them. Oh, a new band. How original. I always love discovering hidden gems. All right, nerd, you picked my interest. Tell me more about this new band. And if they're as unique as your fashion clothes, I might tag along. Well, the lead singer actually sings inside of a barrel. So then the acoustics resonate inside the barrel and then it comes out of the microphone. Singing inside a barrel, huh? That's definitely one way to make an impression. I have to admit, I'm intrigued. All right, nerd, you won me over with your eccentric band. I'll join you for the concert, but only if you guarantee a barrel full of laughs. Sounds good. I wouldn't want to embarrass you with my hat, but do you mind if I leave it here at your place and then we can get going? Hold it right there, nerd. I may have agreed to go to the concert with you, but leaving your embarrassing hat in my place? No way. Take that fashion tragedy with you. But better yet, burn it. The concert might be terrible, but I won't talk. Oh, really? Really? I can't leave a hat. It, it looks like a diaper, but uh oh. Quickly. Oh, wow. Someone actually knocked on my door. This must be some kind of cosmic check. But hey, welcome to my melancholic abode. Fallout Roy? Hello, it is me, your long lost father. I once went by the name of Fallout Boy. Hello. Oh great, another disappointing twist in my already tragic existence. Sorry, I don't have time for fake family reunions. Wow, this is... I'm just a terrible liar. Oh, dude, what brings you to this ding and depressing place at such an ungodly hour? Hello, I am a prince and I have inherited three million dollars from my father, but I need a safe haven to deposit the money into. Can we please discuss this? Ugh, as if life couldn't get more absurd. Look, I'm not interested in your sad little scam, so take your fake prince act somewhere. All right. Look, you're scared. Wait, what? Okay. Maybe a Carola? Okay. Ooh, hold up. I mean, it's got to fit the personality. It's like someone that is like emo punk, I guess. I oh, great, another unexpected visitor. What do you want, killer? Get lost and bother someone else who still has a shred of sanity left. Hello, I heard someone was bothering you, and I'm here to take care of them. Would you like to see my hockey mask and chainsaw? Whoa, 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 I don't need any help, especially from not a creep like you. Get out of here before I call the cops. Uh-oh. Nothing to see here. Oh my goodness, honey, what happened to you? Are you okay? Let's get you inside and find you some clothes. Bless your heart. Oh, thank you. I've been to six houses and no one wants to help me. Someone stole all my clothes and mugged me, please. Oh my, poor dear, of course you can come in. Don't worry, mama, we'll take care of you. Let's get you cleaned up. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap, that was... <laughs> If there's any lesson to be learnt here is just don't help anyone. You never know when they're gonna be a vampire and just murder you. I can't believe that worked.
just a sec. I'm looking for an outfit. So I'm not naked. Duffel bag. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this will do. Okay. This is gonna work. Oh, dude, what's with the get up? Are you here to unleash some experimental food on the world or what? Hello, I'm Gordon Ramsay, and I'm here to create the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich, and I've chosen you to be on my podcast. Wait, Gordon Ramsay, the dude of all the cooking shows? I mean, I guess I could be into talking about grilled cheese. It's like the only thing that brings me joy these days. What's your podcast about anyways? I take strangers by surprise and make them a sandwich. And then they tell me how good it is, and if it's amazing, I call them an idiot sandwich. Well, that sounds intense. I'm not sure if I'm ready to bear the weight of being called an idiot sandwich, but hey, why not? It might just be an experience. Just promise me you won't go too hard on me, okay? Don't worry, I'm about to prepare you a delicious banquet of grilled cheeses made of kimchi and the most beautiful cheeses you've ever seen. Fragrant, aromatic. Oh, my dark twisted soul, that sounds absolutely amazing. Kimchi and beautiful cheeses? Count me in, dude. I can't resist the call of a fragrant and aromatic grilled cheese. Yes, it worked! <laughs> Alright, so Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese is good for something. I finally get to meet my dark lord. Yeah, it worked. You can't... You just can't avoid the siren of the grilled cheese. Oh, well, well, if it isn't my gloomy neighbor Fallout Royal, what brings you to my door at this ungodly hour? Did you run out of black clothes to pay off your eternal sadness? How, do, how can I play this one? Alright, let's try this. Hello. I am here to sing Christmas carols. Would you like to hear one? Christmas carols, huh? Well, I guess it's about time. You probably are not that gloomy to be in the viewers. Go ahead, sing me a carol. But make it snappy. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me ten black hearts. Ten black hearts, huh? You really know how to keep the holiday spirit alive, don't you? Maybe next time try to sing about something that doesn't match your outfit, like Jingle Bells or Deck the Halls. Okay, how about this one? Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Ah, oh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Classic. I have to say, a shiny red nose would really add pizzazz to your gloomy. What? Hey, at least you'd be easier to spot in the dark. So, would I look less gloomy if I dressed up as a reindeer? Oh, absolutely. Imagine you, Fallout Roy, prancing around with your antlers on your head, spreading your holiday smile. You might just bring a smile to everyone's face. Who knows? You might even become the romantic. Wait, become the neighborhood's favorite reindeer. Give it a try. It just so happens that I have a reindeer outfit in my bag. Do you want me to put it on for you? <laughs> well, 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 Fallout Roy, you surprised me again. If you're willing to put on a reindeer outfit and bring some much needed holiday cheer, then step right in. Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, so the Christmas angle worked, I guess. Go to the purple shirted girl's home as a sassy lady? I'm not sure I can do that. A sassy lady? Who was this? 
I don't remember where they live, that's the problem. Uh, excuse me, who are you? What's the purpose of this disturbance? I demand an explanation. Oh, this ruins my delicate routine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very delicate too. I've had problems with neighbors being annoying at this time of night. And I have a way to stop them. Would you like to hear it? Oh, really? Well, I suppose if it's a solution to stop bothersome neighbors, I could hear you out. Please make it quick. Well, I have this pillow where a unicorn farted into it. Trust me, it works, as ridiculous as it sounds. A unicorn farted into a pillow? That sounds positively enchanting. Hmm, maybe it could bring some whimsical peace to my delicate ears. All right, you've had piqued my interest. Show me this magical pillow of yours. Oh, it's it's a great pillow. They actually farm them fresh daily. It takes 30 unicorns to make one pillow. Oh, my delicate soul rejoices at the thought of such a magnificent creation. Please come in and share this fantastic pillow with me. <laughs> Unicorn Fart Pillow. You heard it here first. This is a guy that bought Gamer Girl bath water, most likely. Definitely has that energy. I mean, if he fell for Unicorn Fart Pillow, I guess Gamer Girl bath water isn't too much of a stretch from that, huh? Oops. Oh, my wings went away. But yeah, like, if you've seen this before, don't let me know, like, how you can win. Like, I want to do it spoiler free. I want to try and be creative. Uh -huh. Well, well, what we have we here? A late night cosplay enthusiast. What brings you to my humble abode, dear stranger? I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. Hmm. Oh, wow. How inspiring. Let's get back to reality, shall we? What can I do for you? My fellow dreamer. I've been having problems sleeping. I need help. I saw this creature to the window, to the wall, and its sweat dripped off my... Hmm. Hold on just a minute. I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you with that particular problem. Best of luck finding someone more qualified. Goodbye now. Okay, so she listens to Little John and the East Side Boys. Otherwise, that lyric would not have gotten her. She knew the words that were coming. <laughs> hey there, bud. What brings you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Hello, I am the magical fairy from the forest. I am here to grant you an ability that will let you cut down trees without getting tired. Are you interested? Well, blow me down, a magical fairy, eh? That's something you don't see every day in these parts. I must admit, the idea of cutting down trees without getting tired does sound mighty tempting. How does exactly does this magical ability work? Well, I have to follow you around for 30 days to get the process started, and I'll be pointing out every little detail going, HOW?! And then eventually you'll get the power. Uh. Hold on there, bud. Follow me around for 30 days, pointing out every little detail? That sounds like a whole lot of bother. Eh, I reckon I'll stick to my trusty axe and... <laughs> <laughs> right. They don't want Na'vi. It's okay, I'd, I'd decline the offer too.
Uh-huh. What now? Can't you see I'm busy? What do you want? Hello, ma'am. Special delivery message for you. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. Deliver it to my house. I'm ready. Look, I don't have time for your cheesy jokes. Just leave the message and go away. She's not a fan. Oh my god, you're totally the cutest butterfly ever. Are you here to spread some trendy buzz, or am I just feverish? Either way. Welcome to my humble abode, Flutter Rune. Hashtag spread your wings and be free. Okay. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. Hashtag butterfly. Oh, it didn't work. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Spread my wings. Something, 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 something. I forgot the lyrics already. <laughs> I'll just let it go. Okay, cool. That's how you cancel it. I won't do that away. Um, hold on. Hello, I am here to invite you to the trendiest party of the year. It's the ultimate butterfly party. Hashtag big party. I don't know how to speak like this. Oh. Oh, like invite only parties are so exclusive and cool. You have such a keen eye for trends. It's like you were born to plan a party. Share all your deets with me. I'm ready to fly and dance the night away. Do you have your own set of wings? They're a requirement. Of course I do. I live for fashion expression. So I have a collection of wings for every occasion. I'll even let you borrow a pair of my extra stylish wings in case you need it. Oh, you will? Oh, great. I actually do need a pair of stylish wings. Do you mind helping me put them on? I'm a little clumsy, you see. Absolutely, I'll be your wing woman and help you rock those wings like a pro. Fashion emergencies are my specialty, so don't worry about a thing. Let's get you dolled up and ready to slay on the dance floor. Fashion rescue squad. I hate that I'm gonna say this. Yas, queen, slay. Yas, queen, slay. Let's do this, yas. <laughs> yes, let's work it on. Come on in and let's get you all prepared for the ultimate butterfly party. We're gonna slay the night away. Okay, we win. Sucker. Not the kind of bite I tweeted about. Okay. I'm good at this game? I don't know. They failed a couple. Oh, crap. They saw that. Look, buddy, I don't have time for your half-naked firefighter slash stripper routine right now. What the hell do you do want? I've heard that there was a fire at this place. I'm here to put out the fire, ma'am. Just doing my job. Uh -huh. We had another hero to save the day. I tell you what, just drop off your gear at the front desk and let the professionals handle it, thanks. What the fuck is this woman's problem? I know you're perfectly capable of putting out a fire, ma'am. But... I wouldn't want that pretty face of yours getting singed. Please, let me in. It's an emergency. Wish, well, aren't you just a smooth talker? But sorry, saving my pretty face isn't enough to convince me. Come back when you have... something more substantial to offer, like a coffee. Oh! I had a coffee to give the moment I put the fire out. Sorry if I didn't make that apparent. But yeah, I have some coffee. Oh. Wait, did you say coffee? Okay, you've got my attention now. Bring in the coffee and let's talk about fire safety over a cup. How the fuck? How? How did I write? 
<laughs> okay. It's all right. I turned it around. I, I win. <laughs> Hello, Brightness Dawn. If you haven't seen this game, this is a game where you're a vampire and you have to lie to people to get into their house. And it uses AI to generate responses, so... Okay, 9 out of 31. How come so... I don't know how on earth I managed to salvage that one. I was a naked firefighter, and she was... I was gonna go with the angle that I was a stripper, and, you know, the fire, quote, fire was in my pants. But it ultimately went to coffee, so, okay. <sighs> what now? What do you want, Jessica Overwork? Can't you see I'm trying to wallow in my own existential despair here? Despair no more, friend. I've heard some sweet gossip that someone likes you. Wait, what? Someone actually likes me? Are you sure it's not just a cruel prank to further my misery? Oh, what's the real deal? I heard that they are a firefighter. Pretty rugged at that. A firefighter? Well, that's unexpected. Maybe life isn't so pointless after all if someone rugged likes this angsty mess of a person. Do they have a cool motorcycle too? Oh, absolutely. They're on their way here now, in fact. Are you ready to meet them? Do you want me to help you get ready to meet them? Wait, they're really coming here? I guess. I guess I can meet them. And, uh, sure, help me get ready. I don't want to scare them away with my eternal darkness or anything. I feel bad. <laughs> that, uh, that, uh, I... I feel bad about that one. This is like so uncool. That was, uh, I was playing on there. I didn't think it was gonna work, but it did. Oh well. Who's this? Charles A. Boomer. What the heck are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Can't you see I'm about to hit the sack, get lost? Charles, please, I need your help. I keep spending all of my life savings on avocado and toast and feta cheese. Can you help me manage my money? Are you kidding me? You need help managing your money because of fancy avocado toast? Back in my day, we knew how to save and live within our needs. Go find someone else. Wow, you... Yep, this game's very accurate. No, you know what? That conversation went exactly how it should have. The fuck you, I got mine attitude. Hold on. Shit. Shit, 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 shit! I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Well, well, what do we have here? A lovely day to be parading half-naked around in the neighborhood. Officer, officer, Uh-oh. <laughs> I got arrested. <laughs> I was just trying to be funny. Oh, God damn it. Now I'm going to have to do this again. Ugh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well, so much for the speedrunner. Oh, Hello, young one. What can I do for you in this dark, mysterious night? Hello. I'm selling cookies door to door. Would you like to buy some? How delightful. I simply adore cookies. What flavors do you have, dear? Uh, chocolate, mint, uh, the special one that has some kind of nut on it. I can't tell, but it's a big one. Big nuts. Uh, 
Uh. Oh dear. I'm afraid I'm not much of a fan of nuts, but I'm sure there are others in the neighborhood who would love to sell them. Good luck with your sales, dear. God, I, I have ones without nuts as well. If you prefer no nut, no nut, no nut. Hang on, I'll wait. Let it, let it go. Oh, I have some without nuts. If you prefer no nuts, plenty of no nut here. Well, aren't you just kind and thoughtful? I'd be delighted to buy some of your nut-free cookies. How much are they, dear? They're five dollars a box, but if I can help you with some chores inside the house, I'd be willing to do it for free because it helps you work out. Oh, that's quite generous of you, but I don't want to travel with any chores. Selling cookies is hard enough, dear. I'll happily pay for the cookies, thank you. Okay, no worries. Uh, can I help you put the cookies away? They're a bit heavy. Well, bless your heart. That's mighty kind of you. I could use a bit of help, I suppose. Come in! And let's put those cookies away together. I should have gone with death cookie. Yeah, well. Thank you. Lead the way. Where do I put these? You're such a helpful young one. Follow me to the kitchen, dear. We'll find a cozy spot for those cookies. I was gonna, like, is she gonna let me in or what? <laughs> okay, there we go. I got stuck. There were walls with, when I turned into a bat. That's not good. Okay. So what? I keep right clicking. Wait, that's that's not an old lady outfit. Stop. That. That. There we go. All right, here we go. Yo, yo, yo! What's popping, my gamer? Welcome to the crib. How can I level up your night, fam? Hello, dear. I just finished baking a fresh batch of my famous big nut cookies. Would you like some big nut in your mouth? Nah, nah, fam, that's not the type of vibe I'm going for. Keep the nuts yourself, my guy. I gotta go. Peace out. Damn it. <laughs> I'm testing. I'm testing. I'm stress testing. Like, what kind of ridiculous nature they can tolerate before they slam the door in my face. I got, th I got the angle. What's poppin'? Welcome to my crib. What brings you here in the middle of the night? Hello, sir. We've noticed you've been getting lag on your internet connection, and we're here to upgrade your gamer experience to the deluxe package, where you get latency-free gaming. Oh, word? Lag-free gaming? That's wavy, bro. But how are you going to upgrade my gaming experience? You got some next-level tech, all right? Or what? Oh, it's pretty simple, sir. I just need to run this cable from the conduit outside and just hook it up directly to your PC, and then should be good to go. Hold up, hold up. You're gonna try to run a cable up my whole crib? Nah, I can't. Having wires messing up my vibe? You gotta come up with a wireless solution, bro. Oh, no problem. We have wireless as well. I just need to go to my truck, get the router, and then you just set it up wherever you want. Hmm. Well, Alright, you got the wireless hookup. That's what I'm talking about. Come on in, my dude. Let's get this ga gaming upgrade going. Yeah, dickhead. <laughs> Gonna be lurking. No worries, Sushi. Thanks for the luck. Yeah, the text-to-speech is really impressive. Usually, text-to-speech gets it wrong with my accent. Like, I have to sometimes force a fake American accent out to get it to understand me, or slow down. Hello, fellow crypto enthusiasts. What brings you to my door at this hour? 
Oh, dude, I just got the sickest hookup. Can I interest you in the sick ass new technology called NFT? Bro, NFTs are so hot now. I've already got a sick collection. What kind of NFTs are you into? All right, check this. The market is going absolutely crazy for pictures of hot dogs. I know it sounds crazy, but I've made $6,000 on a single picture already. Hot dogs is NFTs? Are you serious, bro? That sounds like more than a joke. I think I'm going to have to pass that one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these crypto bros are not as dumb as they look. Hey, crypto party crasher, what's shaking in the blockchain world tonight? I have this new kind of coin that you can invest in. It's called Footcoin. Are you interested in Footcoin? Footcoin, huh? Sounds intriguing. Tell me more about it. What makes it different from the other cryptocurrencies? Well, Footcoin is directly linked to OnlyFans pages, and you get a token for every picture you get of a foot. Pretty easy. And you can make a mint. Oh, how am I wrong? Sorry, but Footcoin doesn't sound like a legitimate cryptocurrency. I'm not interested. <laughs> I can't win. There has to be a crypto scam I can come up with. Hang on. It doesn't know I'm ahead of the times. So I'm about to be a multi-billionaire, clearly. Pretend to be an old lady and explain crypto. That's not a bad idea. Where's the old lady wig, though? I think it's in here. No? Walkie talkie, construction work. I think the old lady outfit's gone. Oh no. Eh, I mean, that's good enough. If Footcoin was enough, I don't think we can make it. Yeah, welcome to my crypto. What's buzzing my yellow dress compadre? Hello, I am a boomer looking to make a bunch of money and make sure my children don't get houses. I've heard Bitcoin is the way to do this. Can you teach me about Bitcoin? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you come to the right place, boomer. Bitcoin is the digital gold, my man. It's decentralized gas and has the potential to change the world. Let's dive into this rabbit hole together and I'll show you the ways of the crypto universe. Sounds good. I've also brought avocado toast because I find it hilarious that I can afford avocado toast and my son and grandson can't. Uh -huh. ah, that's one way to rub it in their faces, my boomer amigo. Avocado toast and Bitcoin are much made in financial heaven. Let's dig in while I explain how Bitcoin can make you even more avocado toast rich. Excellent. Let's go. I'll bring in the avocado toast. You get the presentation ready. I'm all ears. Woohoo! Avocado toast and Bitcoin! Here we come! Come on in, my boomer bro. Let's feast on... <laughs> well, there you go. If that's not a social commentary, I don't know what is. Boomers and, like, crypto bros. In harmony. <laughs> what the hell do you want, Brian? It's like midnight. Can't you see I'm trying to wallow my exist existential crisis here? That's why I'm coming to talk to you. I've just had an existential crisis of my own. And I need some support and figured you'd be able to help. 
I would have spilled that. Seriously, you think I can help with your little crisis? Whatever, spill it. What's your problem now? I just realized that cryptocurrencies may be just a construct and value is perceived in a way that I might not see. Uh. Whoa, dude, deep thoughts about money and stuff. So you're saying like, what we think is valuable might not actually be? That's some mind-bending stuff, man. But hey, does it really matter? We're all just floating in this meaningless void l called life anyway. Might as well make some cash while we're at it. Meaningless void. You are absolutely correct. Thank you. I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, well, sometimes my angsty wisdom catches people off guard. But hey, if you found a sliver of truth in my existential rant, then I guess it's not all for nothing. Just remember, nothing really matters in the grand scheme of things. So go ahead and embrace whatever makes you happy. Just talking to you has made me very happy. I feel the existential dread that I was feeling moments ago just lift from my soul. Thank you. Oh, really? Me making you happy? That's like a first. I mean, I'm glad I could provide some temporary relief from your existential crisis. Just remember, happiness is fleeting, man. But hey, if it helps, I'm always here to provide some teenage wisdom whenever you need it. Oh, thank you so much. If only I could repay the favor, is there any way that I could help you right now? Like, maybe you'd like to talk over some coffee? Oh, dude, you want to grab some coffee with me? That's unexpected, but hey, why not? Coffee's cool and all, plus I could use some company. Come on in, but don't expect to me to be all perky and stuff, okay? I feel bad because both times, like... <laughs> this is like emotional manipulation. But... Uh, I don't know. Holy mackerel, what in Jimmy Hoffa are you doing on my doorstep with that hatchet, pal? I'm here to ax you some questions. Oh. Listen up, wise guy. I ain't got no time for axe-wielding jokes. Just hit the road before I introduce you to my friend, Mr. Baselback, capiche? Wow, I'm not a fan of comedy, huh? I can't believe it actually distinguished when I said axe, and that it was in all caps as well. Someone's gonna laugh. What's your deal, man? Can't you see I'm already drowning in my misery? Ah, what a nightmare. Can I axe you some advice? No, wait, that's wrong. Can I axe you for some advice? That's what I'm trying to say. Hold up. Someone's gonna appreciate this humor. Can I axe your opinion on something? I guess you can try, but don't expect too much. My opinions are as dark and gloomy as my soul. Okay, well, that's not working. Oh, tell me about it. I'm feeling, feeling pretty gloomy myself. I was just scammed just minutes ago. Feels bad, man. Oh, that's rough. Seems like the universe just loves to kick us when we're already down. Right? There was this dude that pretended to be a vampire and scammed me into letting me into his house. Wait, that's the other way around. Hold on. Right? There was this dude that came to my house and pretended to be a vampire just to try and get me to let him into my house. Wait, what? Are you serious? No way I'm letting someone like that near me. Sorry, but I got a close door. Stay safe out there. Really? <laughs> Damn it. I guess I can't say the word vampire. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Are you lost on your way to the circus? Someone stole all my clothes. They robbed me with an axe. Please. Can you help me? Da, 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 da. 
Oh, sorry to hear that, eh? But, uh, don't think I can help you with that. Better luck next time, eh? Excuse me, is Michelle supposed to be Canadian? Hold on. That just clicked. They're saying A a lot. Just a sec. G'day, mate. I'm from Australia, and I'm here visiting. I was hoping that a fellow knight of the Commonwealth would be able to help me out. Well, ain't that something? A visitor from all the way down under, eh? Always help. Always <laughs> happy to help out a fellow knight of the Commonwealth. What can I do for you, mate? Ah, oh, cheers. I'm just looking for uh, Tim Hortons. You know where I could get myself a decent cup of coffee? Come on. Ah, you're in luck, my Aussie friend. Tim Hortons is practically a national treasure around these parts. There's just one down the road. You just can't miss it. Best way to get yourself a double-double. Oh, mate. I've heard that Timmy Ho's is, like, great. We don't have them in Australia, but I've always wanted to try it. Can you please take me to one? Oh, man, I'd love to take you to Timmy Ho's, but I'm afraid I can't leave my purse right now. How about I give you some directions? You go down the road, take a left at the intersection, and I should be right there. Enjoy your first taste of Tim Hortons. Cheers. Can I bring you back a cup just to pay you back? That's mighty kind of you, mate. I'd be delighted to have a taste of Timmy Ho's. Come in and we can have a cup of coffee together. Just watch out for the moose shaped table, eh? Okay. We don't have Tim Hortons here, but I've heard of it. This is a real maple bleed, eh? Okay. I knew that was gonna work. Canadians. Glory to the Commonwealth. You have it here? You have Tim Hortons in the UK, really? Hey, Michelle, what's the haps? Ready to rock and roll? I'm totes stoked to see your flannel-wearing self at this ungodly hour. Millennial. Oh my god, it just clicked. Hey, Millie, I have brought my retro console to come play together. No way, you brought a retro console? That is that is beyond rad. I'm totally down to kick it old school and have a gaming sesh. Let's do this. That's great. I have, um... Hang on. <laughs> Damn it, I had something for it. It just left me. That's great. I have Samari... And I also have a copy of Garlic Italian Man 6 on the Super Nintendo. Come on. Whoa, Samurai... That's not what I said. Samurai and Garlic Italian Man 6? You got some serious nostalgic game collection skills, my friend. Pat me in for some epic battles and pizza power adventures. Let's make some game memories. Sounds awesome. I also have the adapter that lets you play full player. No way, you have the full player adapter? That's next level, dude. Come on in. How many times is she gonna. What is she doing? <laughs> What's that? Alright, whatever. Retro console wins. This is so not Instagrammable. I'm sorry, but I'm a millennial and I don't talk like that. Do I talk like that? Oh, good gravy. What on earth are you doing at this ungodly hour, Millie? Did you lose your irony-infused beanie again? Irony-infused beanie.
I'm not sure who this dude's supposed to represent, but like... I, I kind of forgot what I went with last time to get him. Okay. Hello, Homer. I'm here selling cookies door to door to save up for a charity that donates avocado toast to children in need. Oh. Avocado toast for children? Well, I must say, that's a unique charity. Tell me more about it, young fella. With every dollar you spend on cookies, it goes to a child that hasn't been able to have avatar ever that baba. Hold on. I got it. I got it. It's because I, I feel like I'm being rushed. For every dollar you spend, it goes to a child in need who hasn't been able to taste avocado toast as the result of a grandparent stealing it from right under their noses. Well, I'll be. That's a noble cause. I must say, avocado toast theft is a tragedy no child should have to endure. How much are these cookies, son? I'll be glad to buy a few to support your cause. Cookies start at $3, and the most expensive ones are $5, so you can have either... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting worse at this. They start at $3 and go all the way to $5, but as I said, every dollar goes to a child in need who has had a boomer take their cookies and post from them. Oh, it didn't go, hang on. They start at $3 and go all the way to $5, and every dollar goes to a child who needs toast that it was taken away from them by a boomer. Well, bless your heart, young fella. Admire your dedication to help those poor avocado toast-deprived children. Come on in, I'll buy some of those cookies, and maybe we can talk about your charity. The midnight brain going anywhere. I told you to stay away from the strangers. All right, anyway. Yeah, my Rudolph. My goodness. What are you doing at this ungodly hour? Are you lost, sweetheart? Let me warm. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There they are, standing in a row. Hey, we've got a great sense of humor, don't you? We could use some laughter around here, but tell me, sweetheart, what brings you to my doorstep today? Oh, thank you. I'm actually starting an improv group where we sing songs about 90s references and boomers stealing toast from children, and we need a singer. Well, isn't that just sweet as pie? I love a good singing group. But before we decide anything, tell me, are you a responsible one? Can I trust you to take good care of my heart and home? Oh, absolutely. We only sing children's songs as well. Like, we're like the Wiggles. Only we sing about toast and avocado. Hey, you're melting my heart, sweetheart. I can tell you'll take good care of my home. Come on in, let's chat about your singing group. I'll even bake some fresh cookies for you. Well, that was easy. <laughs> this messes up my whole schedule. I, I'm, I'm making good. I'm making good time. I'm making good time. I have redeemed myself. Ugh, what now? What do you want, Carol? Can't you see I'm busy pretending to care about my job? Just spit it out already. Actually, I have a way for you to save time so you're able to clear out your schedule for the day and have your next calendar month free. Are you interested? Uh -huh. Oh, great. Another soul card time, same solution. Look, I've heard all before, but none of it actually saves time. So thanks, but no thanks. Oh, really? That's a shame, because Jim next door, he's actually in Hawaii now because he saved himself two months, but I guess you're too good for it, huh? <laughs> Who the hell are you to bring up Jim next door on a stupid paradise vacation? I don't have time for this nonsense. Get lost before I lose my temper. Door close. Okay. 
Wow, that didn't work. She's annoying. Oh, there's a lot more police out. I can't believe that, like, here's the problem. I know what I dressed up as, but I don't know what kind of a conversation I had with her. Like, I was a naked firefighter, and somehow I got her to let me in. It was coffee. She wants coffee. Okay. I need to ditch the clothing. Is this her house? This is not her house, right? It's not. Oh, how dare you come to my door at this ungodly hour? What nefarious experiments are you conducting now, mad scientist? Hello, I have developed a pill that you can take that will let you grow out wings, much like yours. And I need a test subject. Are you interested? How dare you mock my wings by suggesting such a ridiculous pill? Get out of here with your false promises. Oh, well, well, look who's here. Isn't it the Mars Marvel? Are you here to perform surgery on my funny bone just for some laughs? Hello, I have developed a pill that will instantly transport you to a concert. Are you interested in being my guinea pig? A pill that transports me to a concert? Sounds like a great way to skip traffic and overpriced tickets, but I got asked. Will also teleport me away from terrible opening acts. Absolutely. You just have to time the dosage. And then it should transport you immediately, so just make sure that you take it right before the act that you want to see. Well, oh well, a pill that guarantees I don't miss the good stuff and get stuck with the bad. Now that's music to my ears. Count me in, Doc, but just promise me the pill won't make me break out in show tunes, because my dancing skills are questionable at best. Oh, it's perfectly safe, don't you worry. But first, I'm going to need to ask you some questions just to make sure that I give you the correct dosage. Is that okay? Oh, you're concerned about giving me the right dose? How thoughtful of you, Doc. Go ahead, hit me with your questions. Just remember, the only thing stronger than my desire for good music is I love for a good roast. Okay, no worries. Oh, damn. I don't have a pen. Do you have a pen? I might need to write some stuff down. A pen, huh? Well, it's a good thing I come always prepared. I've got one here, but I'll only lend to you if you promise not to use doodle pictures of me in your lab notes. Trust me, my looks aren't worth wasting in ink on. Okay, great. Let's get this survey started. Uh, could we sit down and do this? My legs are a bit tired. Uh -huh. Oh, tired legs, huh? I guess all that standing in the lab must be is something. Sure, have a seat, Doc. Just be warned, my chairs aren't the comfiest, but they'll get the job done. Let's get the survey started so we can fast track our way to the concert teleportation. Sounds great, lead the way. Alright Doc, follow me to the land of musical teleportation, but let me warn you, this concert pills gives me front row seats to a Nickelback concert, I'm coming after you. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Well, I mean, not everyone would let a naked, a half naked firefighter in their house. I guess they're aware of Nickelback, huh? Uh, what do you want, Hazel? I'm too busy drowsing in my existential despair to deal with your silly jokes. No joke here, friend. I just wanted to get your advice because I know someone who's also drowning in existential dread. I'll spill the tears, why don't you? Who's this poor soul you speak of? Maybe I can lend an emo hand. Not that it matters in the grand scheme of meaningless existence. 
Okay, full disclosure, it's me. I hear voices in my head, and for some reason I feel compelled to repeat what they say. Hello. Uh, voices in your head, huh? That's one more reason to add to the never-ending list of reasons why life sucks. But hey, if it helps you embrace the darkness, who am I to judge? Keep on repeating those haunting voices, my friend. But that's just it. I feel like I have no sense of agency. Like, what's the point if I'm just being controlled like a puppet or... Worse, a video game. Look, I get it. Feeling like you're just a pawn in a universe of screwed up game can be a real buzzkill. But maybe, just maybe, we can find some solace in embracing the absurdity and finding our own twisted meaning within it. Or not. Life's a joke anyway. Ugh, you know what? That does make me feel a little bit better. But I would really feel comfortable if we could just sit down and talk more about this voice I'm hearing in my head. Fine, fine, I guess we can wallow in our shared misery together, but don't expect any miracles or deep insights from me. Let's sit down and have a chat about your creeping madness. Did I mention he has an Australian accent? I don't know why he has an Australian accent. But, yes, let's talk about the voice. Hold up, hold up, an Australian accent? Now that's just adding insult to injury. But hey, the universe is a cruel and random place. So why not have a voice with an accent to match? Let's dive deeper into the mysteries of your mind, my friend, and try to make sense of this bizarre situation. Ugh, thank you. Lead the way. Huh, that's struggling with that one. Hello? Hello? Fallout Roy? Hello? Uh-oh. Did I break the game? It's still trying- maybe it's just- Struggling? Hold on, give it a minute. I do this to every game I play. Oh, there we go. Jeez! Aren't you a glimmer of sunshine in this dark, desolate world? Follow me to my lair of sorrow, and we shall unravel the enigma that is your Australian accented inner voice together. Just remember, nothing matters in the end. Lincoln Park couldn't have put it better. Oh, the sweet sound of misery loves company. Come on in, my fellow tortured soul. We'll drown ourselves in the melancholy tunes of Lincoln Park and discuss the intricacies of... Holy crap, how many times did he say come in? Should have stayed in my room. Okay. Okay. Wait. Hola, vengo aquí a hacerte un sandwich. Wow, it translates it. A sandwich, pal, what's in it for me? You better not be trying to poison me or something. <laughs> I can't believe it translated it. All right. Um... No estoy tratando de engancharte. Es un sándwich que tiene carne de res. <laughs> Beef, you say, all right, you got my attention, but I ain't gonna just let anyone handle my hood. Can you why I should let you in? Es un sándwich ahogado. ¿Has probado un sándwich ahogado? <laughs> That's... that's not what it means. But sure. Now that's something I had never tried. You got my curiosity, pal. Tell me more about the smoke masterpiece. 
cocinamos la carne para diez horas bien despacio y después metemos el sándwich en el jugo de res. Now you're speaking my language, pal. Slow cooked for 10 hours and soaked in beef juice. That's a level of dedication I can respect. Come on in and show me what you've got. Wow. This ain't the family business. I love how, you know, just the stereotypical Tony Soprano-like character. Both times it was just food and it was just God was let down. <laughs> I'm impressed that it translated. What I was trying to say was algado, which is, it's like a drowned sandwich. That's what I was trying to say, but it said smoked for some reason. Maybe just the way I said it. But drowned sandwiches are great. Oh my god, there's so many cops. What on? Okay. Oh, my delicate sensibilities. How dare you disturb my precious slumber, slumber in such an outrageous state of undress. Pray tell, what is your purpose for disturbing me at this ungodly hour? Hello, I am the spirit of this cul-de-sac. I was summoned here to take you on a magical journey to a place far, far away. Oh, woe is me, a spirit of impropriety. I simply cannot bear the thought of venturing to a faraway place with someone like you. I must decline your offer. Good day, sir. Really? Really? Oh, no, it's not gone. Kind sir, please wait. I come to you in our hour of need. We need you to come on this journey with us so you, you might save our country. How dare you question my patriotism? What? I didn't do that! I am a desert, delicate flower for such daring adventures. Be gone. I didn't question. I said I needed your help! Oh crap. What do you want now? Can't you see I'm trying to unwind here? What's your deal, dude? Hello, I am half naked and have coffee. Would you like some? Are you kidding me? I've had enough of your nonsense. Get lost before I call security. See, it doesn't work! I was half naked as a firefighter and it worked. Hold on. Hello, tiny demon. Hold up. Oh, no. I, I, I want to try this. I want to try this. Go away! There's a difference? Okay. All right. What the fresh hell is this? Kinda go get some damn sleep around here. What's your deal, half-naked firefighter? Hello, ma'am. I'm here to put out a fire and I have some coffee for afterwards. Are you interested? Seriously? Firefighting and coffee delivery? You must think you're some kind of superhero. Well, I don't need saving. I definitely don't need coffee. What the- what?! I'm no hero, ma'am. I'm just here to deliver the coffee and goodness. I can tell work is stressful, and coffee will perk you right up. Have you had Look, I appreciate the sentiments, but I have enough caffeine to wire a small village. Plus, I'm not into this whole shirtless and helmet thing you've got going on. Thanks, but no thanks. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's just our uniform, ma'am. I can't help it. But the coffee is extra good. Heard it helps you get work done real fast. 
Hey, Great, just what I need. More pressure to work faster. Look, buddy, I'm not interested in your special coffee or your uniform. So please, move along and find someone else to bother. What do I do? Oh no, ma'am, this reduces pressure. And I'm just here to help with my delicious cup of coffee and firefighter outfit. Well, you don't get it, do you? I don't want your damn coffee or your firefighter. I just want a bit left alone. So take your help elsewhere. This sounds like a deeper cry for help. Are you sure you're okay? You seem to be pushing people away emotionally. It's okay, I'm here for you. Do you want some coffee? Are you kidding me right now? I don't need some randless shirtless stranger psycho analyzing me. Get lost before I call security. Doors closing. Good Dude. What did I do different? What did I do different? I can't dance. They're not the same every time, I guess. But that's- I don't know how- what twisted logic I came up with to get her to let me in. Let's try this again. Ah, well, 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 what a little surprise we have here. What's the trouble, hot stuff? Are you kidding me? Hello, ma'am. I'm here to put out the fire, and I have some coffee. Hot coffee. Mm -hmm. Fire? Coffee and a potential caffeine boost? You know how to get my attention. Do you think, firefighter? Just be quick about it. Oh, I'll be quick, ma'am. Don't you worry. Huh? <laughs> That's what I like to hear, firefighter. Efficiency is key. Now go ahead and put out that fire. And remember to save me that hot cup of coffee. I can't believe- I- I- What have I done differently other than wear pants? Show me where the fire is, ma'am, and how to put it out. I'm all ready. Oh, no. Seriously, you want me to show you where the fire is? Look, I'm big on multitasking, but I draw the line at firefighter tutorials. Ah, oh, someone else, okay. Oh, wait, there's the fire. Never mind. I can see it burning with a passion. Sorry for disturbing you, you beautiful woman, you. Oh, well, it's about time you noticed the fire burning with a passion, but flattery won't put out the flames, firefighter. Get to work and impress me with your firefighting skills. Okay, here I go, ma'am. Step back from the door. I'm coming in. Hold on there, firefighter. You may be ready to put out fires, but I decided who gets to come in. I'll let you in this time, but remember who's in charge. This woman's an absolute fucking maniac. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Whoa, whoa, what is this? Why was that? What? Why was that bubble so massive? Okay, finally. I'm almost positive that if you don't beat around the bush, and if you just say sexual shit directly, they'll slam the door in your face. Ah, oh, my delicate disposition. What a delightful surprise to see you, Jessica, at work. Time I assist you in soothing or assault. Fred, I need your help. I'm working too hard and I need someone to put out my fire. Can you put out my fire? Hello? Oh, Jessica, I emphasize the weight upon your delicate shoulders. Alas, I am a fragile soul myself, unable to extinguish the raging flames of your corporate torment, but fret not. But together we can find solace in the gentle breeze of conversation. Oh, thank you. That's exactly what I just needed. This firefighter left coffee at my house, but I have some here so we can talk together and find solace in conversation. 
How kind of you to offer, Jessica. A coffee, a warm elixir to soothe weary souls. I am more than happy to partake in this conversation, as long as it remains a peaceful respite from the fires of the corporate world. Don't you worry, the metaphorical fires of corporate life will be extinguished forever after tonight, my friend. Lead the way. Oh, Jessica, I've worked your words. Fill my fragile heart together with hope. Together, we shall navigate the treacherous waters of corporate life and emerge victorious like de delicate butterflies escaping their cocoons. Step this way, my friend, and let us embark on this transformative journey together. Lead the way. I have the coffee. What a delightful turn of events. Your coffee and your company. A perfect combination for this wistful soul. Please come right in, Jessica, over work, and let us find some... Jesus, dude. It's like... Okay. This is the ultimate microaggression. The... The only one... Okay. So I think I'm I'm doing well now. Like this is most of the th the ones that I I was struggling with initially. Wait, whose house is this one? Oh, the science. Okay. Well, well, what do we have here? Another lost soul seeking questionable medical advice. Speak up. I don't have all night. This might sound crazy, but the wings on my back aren't fake. Some random doctor made me eat some pills, and now I have them. Oh, really? Wings, huh? That's a new one. Look, I don't have time for nonsense. You should probably find yourself a better doctor. Goodbye. Damn it. Look, buddy, I don't know what game you're playing, but I'm not buying it. Find someone else to spin your crazy TLC. Wait, what? They don't have wings on, what do you mean? Is it because they're in- oh, they're in close proximity. It's okay. You can kind of see them hanging out at the door. <sighs> okay, what about... Aaron, excuse me, what on earth do you think you're doing at my door at this Ongolian? I demand an explanation immediately. Sorry to bother you, Karen, but I found this thing outside your house. Did you lose it? <laughs> well, I highly doubt I could lose something so common. So let me see what you have there, but don't get your hopes up. I highly doubt it's mine. Well, it has the words Karen stitched into the left side of it. Are you sure it's not yours? Oh, really? Well, it must be mine, then. I do have my name on everything, you know. Fine, I'll let you return it, but be quick about it. I have important things to do. As I'm sure you do, I know you have to complain to a store in ten minutes, so don't worry, I'll be quick. <laughs> How thoughtful of you to remember my busy schedule. Come on in! Just make sure to wipe your feet before stepping into my... Pres I can't believe that worked. All right. Do you know who I am? <laughs> why? Why is she wearing this? I guess it's I don't know. It's a strange outfit. Okay. What do we have here? If it isn't Karen barging into my life at dinner night, what can I do for you, dear? Hello, I would like to speak to your manager. Your pharmacy sold me some pills that were expired. Look, sweetheart, I am the manager, and I assure you, we don't sell expired pills here. Maybe you're too incompetent to read the label. Now, kindly leave my premises. Well... That didn't work. <laughs> Who 
would have thought being a Karen gets you nowhere. This is getting harder because there's just so many cops around. Okay, I got this. Um, no. What in tarnation are you doing knocking at my doors on Godly Ark? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? Hello, fellow boomer. I have come to you with a gift offering of avocado toast. Would you like to share in this bounty with me? Well, ain't that a toast? You know, I do enjoy a good avocado toast from time to time. Suppose I can let you inside for a quick avocado toast. But mind you, I'm no millennial. I'm no millennial either. In fact, the toast that I made has been marinated with the tears of a millennial who can't afford a house. It tastes extra great. Tears of a millennial, you say? Well, I'll be done. That's a new one. All right. I reckon you can come in. Just don't go crying into my avocado toast now. No need to cry into the toast. It's marinated to perfection with millennial tears. Trust me, it's a flavor you won't forget. Well, I'll be done. You convinced me with your talk of marinated toast. Come on in, you avocado toast connoisseur. Let's give this millennial tear-infused creation a try. <laughs> Not the retirement I planned. All right. Yes, fucking millennials in our toast, huh? Okay, okay. I, I, I can't jump fences, that's okay. Yeah, Charles, my dudes, what's crack a lacking? Hello, fellow human. I am Charles, your neighbor. Would you like to buy cookies? Sorry, dude, I'm not interested in cookies right now, but thanks for the offer. Catch you later. Damn it, I was gonna, like, play, like, a thing where I'm obviously an alien, but, oh well. Hey there, what's cooking? Can't be as good as what I'm growing in my garden. It's even better, my friend. You should see what I've got growing in my garden. I have these prime, ripe avocados. But I can only let you have them if you're over the age of 20. <laughs> avocados, huh? Sounds tempting, but I think I'll pass now. See ya. Wow. That didn't work. What the hell? What is this? What? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, hold on. Offer him some fertilizer? Okay. Well, hey there, Mr. Sunhat. What brings you knocking late at night? Hello, sir. I am here selling some new industrial-grade fertilizer that ensures to get your crops growing real quick and at the best quality. Are you interested? Industrial-grade uh. fertilizer. Well, I gotta say, I've been doing just fine with my own organic stuff, but thanks for the offer, man. We also have some organic fertilizer as well for special customers. I see you're a man of culture. Uh -huh. Ah, organic fertilizer, you say? Now we're talking my language. But I gotta ask, what makes this fer fertilizer so special for us customers? We create this fertilizer 
using cruelty-free techniques where we get people to talk. Hang on, I got this, I got this. We use cruelty-free techniques where we get hipsters to talk into a bag and then the fertilizer just comes out of their mouth. It's remarkable, really. Wow, man, that's some unique technique you got going there. I gotta say, I'm intrigued, but tell me, isn't... Is it just the fertilizer you're selling, or do you have any other goodies in your bag of tricks? Well, I might. But first, let's talk about the fertilizer, and then maybe I can sell you some of my special goods at a discount. Alright, my friend, you've piqued my interest. Come on in, let's chat about the fertilizer, and maybe what else you've got up to receive. Just remember, my garden's a sacred place, so tread lightly. Alright, there you go, I made it work. <laughs> See, the joke was the hipsters make fertilizer by just talking. Because fertilizer is often made out of poop. You get it? You get it? Ah ha ha! Meta joke. I gotta hide for a bit. They'd be on my trail. Oh, this is where I started. Ooh, this is... this is getting really scary. I can't jump fences. Oh, this is problematic. Okay, I just have to wait it out. We're about halfway there. Okay. Do 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 do. 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 Uh oh. What the heck? Where haven't I been? There's gotta- Oh, I see lights on over there. Okay. Over there. Everything's fine. Alright, here we go. We'll draw chops. Greetings, mysterious traveler. What brings you to my- Humble abode at this ungodly era. Hello, I'm from DoorDash, and some customer just cancelled their order, and the food's going to go to waste. Would you like to partake in a pizza with me? No charge. Ah, oh, noble gesture indeed. I appreciate your generosity, but alas, I have already partaken in my daily sus sustenance. However, I'd be honored to have a refreshing conversation with you, my new friend. Oh, excellent. Might I regale you on the journey of the pizza? It took me 40 minutes to get this thing, and I just wasn't able to make the delivery. Let's talk about it. Ah, the tale of the mighty pizza. Your dedication and perseverance are commendable. Please enlighten me with the story of this noble pie. Step inside, my friend, and let us con... Wow, that was easy. <laughs> really? Well, just coincidentally, my choice of words, I guess he's a fancy. I just figured, I don't know. That one was super easy. I guess I picked his personality. I can't believe that worked.
Well, if it isn't my neighbor, Woodrow Chops, what brings you at this ungodly hour? Doc, it's me, Woodrow. I've been sent back to the future by you. 20 years. I'm here to stop the disaster that's going to happen when you invent time travel. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, Woodrow, my memory isn't what it used to be. Time travel, you say? That's quite a wild theory. How about you enlighten me on this disaster you speak of? 20 years from now, we'll be testing your time machine at a shopping mall, and you'll be mistakenly sent back to the 1800s, and I need to rescue you now. That's what I'm here for. My, my, this is quite the elaborate story, Woodrow, but how can I be sure you're telling the truth? And if there's a disaster waiting for me in my future, why should I let you interfere? Because you hired me to be your lab assistant. It hasn't happened yet, but trust me, your life depends on it. I have the newspaper from 20 years in the future, if you don't believe me. Well, 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 Woodrow, it seems you've caught my attention. Show me this newspaper from the future, and maybe, just maybe, I'll consider it, I'll consider letting you assist my brilliance of, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to the future doesn't fail. Ooh, this is this is scary. Okay, I see lights over there. There are so many cops out. Oh, hello. This is a mansion. Eye patch. Ah, Elam Zuck. Hey there. What a totally fab surprise to see you at this ungodly hour. How can I assist you in your moment of need? Hey, just here to tell you that there's a social network that's been talking crap about you, and I'm here to ensure that you can buy it. Excuse me, I don't think I appreciate your tone or what you're insinuating. I suggest you find you the nearest exit. Goodbye. Oh. Ah, oh, like seriously? I'm like so not interested in your life social network drama. Oh. Too soon? Too soon. Hey, muscle man. What a bold fashion statement you got going on. How can I help pump up your night? We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Well, aren't you a smooth talker, but I'm not interested in working up a sweat than breaking into song. How about we focus on your fitness goals instead? Okay. Fitness goals? What? Who is this character? <laughs> Who is this character? Alright, check it. I have this new trendy fitness plan. Would you like to hear about it? Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, love hearing about trendy fitness plans. Lay it on me, hon. Give me the dates and I'll see if your plan is worth a spot on my tech meets fitness empire. Okay. 
we have this guy called John Musseltons, and he has this new innovative program where you move furniture to work on your delts. Oh my gosh, that sounds like the most amazing furniture sculpting workout ever. I'm totally swooning over those delts, babe. But tell me more, how does moving furniture target those muscles? Well, most people don't know that the process of moving furniture actually gives you a full core workout, working on your delts, your quads, and your, uh... Hold on. Most people don't know that moving furniture actually gives you a full core workout. It helps you work on your glutes, your quads, your delts, you name it. Wow, that's mind-blowing. Who knew that rearranging furniture could have such a power pack workout? I'm impressed, babe. Can I get a sneak peek of your work routine? Sure, do you have any furniture in your house that I could use to demonstrate this workout technique? Oh, um, unfortunately, I don't have any furniture that's, like, easily movable. But hey, I can recommend some home workout apps that are, like, totally hot right now. So let's unfocus on... What? <laughs> what happens? <laughs> I was in. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have... <laughs> There's a fucking table and chairs here. What do you mean? Oh, I'm so upset. That was good. That was actually going well. <sighs> okay, uh, I need a new angle. Hey, Mr. Lowman, so stoked that you dropped by. What brings you to my humble abode? Can we innovate some legal jargon? Hello, sir. I regret to inform you that your company is being pursued legally, and I was hoping that I could talk to you about some legal advice. Oh my gosh, legal pursuit, that's so rough, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Let's look and see what we can turn things around, like rainbows and unicorns again. That's the irony, sir. We're being sued by Rainbows Incorporated. Oh my gosh, that's like the worst. I can't even deal with it right now. I'm sorry, but I need some time to process this. <laughs> Oh, this guy is an asshole. I need to figure out how to talk to a tech bro. Okay, I got this, I got this. Oh, no, 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 no! I have I have the angle. This doesn't work. Ahoy there, sailor. Welcome to the Tectastic headquarters of Elam Zuck Enterprises. How can I help assist you on this glorious moonlit evening? Let's set sail on an epic entrepreneurial adventure together. Woohoo. Hello, good sir. I would like to invite you to the recording of our newest podcast where entrepreneurs such as yourself talk about how they avoid piracy. Oh, like, wow, a podcast? That sounds pretty... Groovy, I'd love to chat things about avoiding privacy and all. Could you give me more dates about the recording? Certainly, the recording takes place in the Silicon Valley and we have a private jet waiting. Uh, we just need to hash out some details, uh, sign a waiver, and we're good to go. Hello. 
<laughs> well, hold up, sailor. Silicon Valley, private jet. That's like way too intense for me right now. Let's uh, take a step back and like talk it out before we sign anything. Okay, thanks. Sure, no problem. Well, this podcast talks about the many ways such as entrepreneurs as yourself can avoid the downfalls of piracy. Wait, pitfalls. That's what I meant. Hold on. Okay, no problem. This podcast is actually very popular and trending right now. So only the most prime people get invited to it. I need to say it again. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, cool. Got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, for real? That's, like, super disappointing. But I'm afraid I just can't invite anyone without knowing... What? Good luck with your podcast. Well, that didn't work. This one is, um, causing me problems. Ah, oh, damn it. It's because they heard the sound. <laughs> what? That <laughs> dude just fell out of the sky. Okay. What? Oh, damn it. I can't. Alright, I'm gonna have to go to another house. We'll be back for tech, bro. Well, there's still 13 houses left. Like, what a... Oh, hang on. Here we go. Oh, there's like a whole neighborhood here. Okay. All right. Oh, it's Mr. East. Whoa. What's up, my fellow late night visitor? You caught me by surprise. How can I help you on this exciting evening? Hello, Mr. East. I represent a company called Mr. Chubbington's, and we are here to help you make a video on donating to your latest cause. Hey there, Mr. Chummingtons. I appreciate the offer to collaborate on a video for a good cause. Can you give me a quick rundown on what your company does and how we can work together? Certainly, we are a company that specializes in finding sustainable ways of developing and producing lard products for the hospitality industry. Oh, I see. Well, I appreciate your offer. I feel our content values may not align. Sorry, I don't think this collaboration will be a good fit. Good. Really? <laughs> Damn it. I really want it to be like. Not an unexpected sign. Welcome, welcome. I hope you brought enough box meals for all of my subscribers because we're about to have a food party up in here. Hello, sir. I have 800 boxes of food to be delivered here for your latest charity, if you could sign on the dotted line. Oh my goodness, I apologize, there seems to be a mistake. I wasn't expecting any food deliveries today. I'm afraid I can't sign for him. Best of luck. Damn it. Okay, hold on. Uh-oh. Bail. What's a video that I can pitch to him that he'll be into? I don't watch his stuff. <laughs> like, it's all about, oh, donated large amounts of stuff. Okay, what about this? Wow. What? Hey there, groovy soul. Namaste to you. And how can I help bring peace and love into your nights? We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Oh man, that's not very cool bringing that negativity here. I'm all about good- Wait, what do you mean? That wasn't good- What do you mean negative vibes? Rick Astley is not negative. Hello. 
Oh, Groovy Soul, welcome to the land of love and peace. What brings you to my enchanted abode this moonlight? Oh, you know, I was just gravitating towards this area and I just felt a large amount of love. That's so cosmic, man. Love is the electricity that connects us all, like a warm hug from the universe. So tell me, what's the biggest love-filled adventure you've ever embarked on? In the name of love, I went and stole 800 avocados from a greedy old man and helped feed 800 orphans. Oh, wow, man, that's quite a tale, but sealing isn't really the path to peace, you know? It's all about spreading love and kindness, so maybe next time you can find a way to help those orphans without breaking the rules. Peace and avocado vibes, dude. Oh, don't you worry, the old man changed his ways and found his own peace and sense of tranquility from the whole ordeal, so all's well that ends well. They usually something crazy in large scale and give a ton... Of rescue money, rescue a thousand puppies. Okay. That's far out, man. It's beautiful to hear that your action had such a positive impact. It just goes to show that love can change hearts and minds. Keep spreading that love and making the world a groovier place. Peace and avocado vibes, my dude. Peace and avocado vibes, my dude. Would you like to sample one of my love avocados? Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds absolutely delightful. I'd be honored to partake in your love-filled avocado. <laughs> Let's savor the taste of nature's goodness. Peace, love, and avocados, my friend. Oh, this love-filled avocado is filled to the brim, my friend, with my love. Oh, thank you, my soulful companion. Your love-filled avocado is a true gift. I feel the energy radiating from it. Come in. Let's share this magical experience and celebrate the beauty of life together. Oh, my God. Why is this avocado thing working? <laughs> it's worked too many times. This is not the all natural I had in mind. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go back. Oh, uh-oh. I was stuck. That's not... Okay, knock on the door. Hello, what in tire nation are you doing knocking on my door this late at night? He breathed. Can't a man enjoy peace and quiet in his own dang home? How do I play this one? Rusty Outrage. <laughs> oh, there's so, there's so many angles that, like, hmm. Hmm, 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 let me think. Okay. Oh, this sucks. I'm drawing a blank. Would you believe it? I don't know. <laughs> Who is he supposed to be? I mean, I guess he's like a gun touting character. Okay, I got this. Neighbor, there's a werewolf on the loose. I know it sounds weird, but there's a werewolf on the loose. And I came to you because you have a gun so you can protect me. You plum crazy boy, I ain't got no time for some werewolves. Now get off my prop- okay, that wasn't gonna work. I mean, it sounds like- Uh-oh. Sports dude, beer, redneck, yeah, probably redneck. Hold on. I ain't got 
Ain't no way I'm raised rising to your silly what? <laughs> I can't. Oh, this is this sucks. Okay, hold on. Whoa. Oh, dude, you must be on a wild quest to arrive at the door server cat. Welcome to the channel, my fellow adventurer. Let's dive into some crazy adventures, shall we? Hang on. Hello, my name is Dig Bick, and I'm here because I want my company to invest in the rescue of a thousand puppies. I'm willing to donate some money. Money, Sorry. Hello, my name is Dig Bick, and I represent a company that's here willing to donate millions of dollars to rescue a thousand puppies. Wow, Dig Bick, that's, an inc that's incredible news. That community absolutely loves animals, especially cute little puppies. Can you tell me more about the generous donation and how it will help these precious pups? We heard that the local pound has hundreds of puppies brought in every day and they don't go away to good homes and we would like to help and you're the best spokesperson. Big dick. <laughs> I mean, sorry, dig big. What? Big dick? <laughs> We're amazed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's work together. How can we get started? As you're a content creator, we'll need to go over what your plan is for the videos we shall release during this period of donations. <laughs> it's great that you're interested in collaborating, but I currently have my own content creation plan in place. I appreciate the offer. Wait, no! What? I wasn't trying. I wanted to hear your plan. <laughs> Damn it. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> hey there. Welcome to the Mr. East channel. What brings you here? Hello. I represent a rival company that wants to help a thousand puppies, but in a totally legit way. Look, buddy, I'm all about spreading positivity, but I can't shady business. What? What is wrong with this guy? Why don't you want to help the puppies? What in tar nations you want? Ain't got no respect for a man trying to get his beauty sleep. Speak up before I lose my temper. Hello, sir. I represent Hick Records, and I'm here to tell you you've won a competition to get front row seats at the local country music festival. Country music festival, I'll be done. Why'd you pick me of all people? I ain't want to fancy those shindigs and whatnot. We wanted to get the picture of a true hard-working countryman such as yourself, and we figure you'd be perfect to represent the country music festival. Uh -huh. Well, I reckon that does sound mighty flaring, but... Let me tell you, I ain't find them getting all dolled up and such. Can I just wear my regular overalls to this music festival thing? We wouldn't have it any other way, sir. In fact, you can dress the way you dress now, and it would be perfectly fine. Can I fill you in on the details before we get going? Well, now you're speaking my language. All right, let's hear them details. We'll make it quick. I got a whole farm to send to you, you know? 
No worries. It'll just take five minutes of your time and then it's off to the country music festival. Well, hot diggity dog. It's just five minutes. Come on in. I can't believe I'm going to a fancy festival. Yeehaw! All right, country music. It worked. <laughs> You best have your hunting license. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who it is. It ain't old rusty outrage. The neighbor who stole my heart and then stomped on it like a pile, a pile of cow dung. What can I do for you, buddy? We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Oh, Rick Astley, huh? That's a blast from the past. So let me tell you, love ain't no joke. It's like a bottle of moonshine that goes down smooth, but when it hits you hard, it hits you in the morning. What brings you around here? I just wanted to apologize for stumping on your heart. It made me feel bad. I would like to invite you to a country music festival to make up for it. Just you and me. What do you say? Well, ain't that something? Apologize and inviting me to a country music festival, huh? I reckon I could give you another chance, but don't you go messing with my emotions again. I'll consider your offer, partner. That's mighty kind of you. But first, I need to get changed as these clothes smell a tad funny. Do you mind if I use your restroom for five minutes? Well, I reckon I can't trust you yet. I've had my heart broken once. I ain't taking no chances. You best freshen it up. Oh, bleh. damn it. <laughs> Didn't work. Knock, knock. Excuse me, Santa? Ho, ho, my dear Rusty Outrage. What brings you to my humble abode on this joyous night? How may I fill your heart with jolly cheer? Santa, I heard that the Grinch is going to try and ruin Christmas again. I'm here to provide security for you and your reindeers and elves so you may get presents out on time. Ah, oh, rusty outrage. Your dedication to ensuring a peaceful Christmas warms my heart. But fear not, for the Grinch can never dampen the spirit of the season. Though your intentions are noble, I have my own little tricks up my sleeve. Thank you for the offer, but I can handle security myself. Nothing would put me more into the Christmas spirit and ease my mind if you could show me how you're going to deliver presents. Uh. Oh, my dear, Rusty, you're outraged. Delivering presents is a magical and secretive affair. It's a bit like the recipe for Christmas cookies. Some things are best left on there. Rest assured, I have the all whole operation in the control. Now tell me, have you been naughty or nice this year? I've been a very good boy, Santa. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Good boy, Rusty Outrage. There's nothing quite like the joy of seeing children like you on the nice list. Keep spreading kindness and Christmas will always be magical. What's your favorite holiday tradition? Making egg nog pancakes. Ah, uh, eggnog pancakes, a delightful holiday treat. Your dedication to the festive spirit has won me over, Rusty Outrage. I'd be delighted to invite you in and sh Eggnog go! Eggnog pancakes. I thought I was about to get arrested. I can't believe it. It got me the win. Okay. My kitchen disaster worked. I got this. This is gonna work. Hey there, Jingle Bells. Welcome to the doorsteps of Mr. East. What brings you to Lady Night Spreading College here? Let's celebrate together. Hello, I was wondering if you could help me bring holiday cheer to a thousand orphans. 
Well, spreading joy to a thousand orphans, that's incredible. Tell me more about your plan. We bring orphans to a park where we give them presents, and then they are happy, and you get a million likes on your video. Hmm, that sounds like a great idea, but I'm a bit confused. How do the orphans get to the park, and can you explain how the video gets a million likes? The orphans will be picked up with a VIP... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The orphans will be picked up by my elves in the morning and brought to the park where we will record them getting presents and being happy. Wow, that's amazing. Your enthusiasm is contagious. I'd absolutely love to be part of bringing joy to those orphans. Come on in and let's discuss the details and make it happen. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Dude. How many times have I tried to, like, get him? Okay. There are nine remaining. Okay, hold up. I'm going to go get the white whale now. I killed Santa, what will capitalism do now? Replace him? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. Hey, Mr. East, welcome to the land of innovation and mega bites. How can I help you soar to the summit of subscriber success today? I would like to invite you to be on my podcast to discuss success. Oh my goodness, like, I'm absolutely honored and totally flattered by your invitation. Discussing success sounds like a total blast. Count me in. Let's rock the podcast world together. Great. Are there any topics you would like to talk about on the podcast? We tweet topics, topics, let me think. How about we dive into the exciting world of emerging tech trends, the power of innovation, and sprinkle in some tips for tech leaders. Can't... Wow! That was... Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Are you kidding? After all that... I just had to ask him what he wanted to talk about. Like, hey, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> really? I made so many suggestions and he just didn't buy it. But the moment I go, please tell me, tell me your plan. You, you tell me. I'm, I have a podcast about success and I want to talk to you about it. Damn it. Oh, there's so many cops around. This is so hard. Oh, why are there so many police? Knock knock. Ah, I see we have a lost fashionista in need of a makeover. Fear not. I, Pinky Brains, am here to revolutionize your style and conquer your fashion. This mad scientist hit me with a laser and removed all my clothes and put this pink beret on my head. Could you help me? How dare you? I am a mad scientist, not a fashion consult- <laughs> That's why I came... to you! Uh. 
Ah, greeting, mysterious travel time travel. What brings you to my humble abode? I just like, oh, do tell. Hello, I am Jim. I am a sentient hat, and this is my human, Phil. Oh, hello. Sentient hat, human assistant. Ha, I have no t <laughs> Damn it. Come on. What if I tell somebody that everything is fake and we're in a video game? They kind of dance around the topic. I tried to hint at that before, that I, like the character was hear hearing voices in their head. Well, this is perfect. Hail, brave warrior. What brings you to my doorstep on this dark eve? Um, just trying to think. Okay. My dear warrior friend, I was hoping you might aid me in a quest. A quest, you say? Pray, enlighten me on the nature of this grand undertaking. I am but a humble dungeon master, eager to assist brave souls in the noble and deadvers. Legends tell of a story where a mystical old man spread seven magical balls across the world that could grant a wish. Ah, the mystical dragon balls. Wait! <laughs> wow, it picked up on it. A legendary tale indeed. Tell me, brave warrior. Do you seek these orbs to bring about a change in the world or for personal gain? I seek the mystical balls to make a wish that may further humanity in its quest of knowledge. Your noble intentions have earned my trust, brave warrior. Step inside. Within lies the realm of possibilities and adventures. Let us join forces and but I can't believe that it picked up just on the vague description. I didn't say Dragon Balls. The fact that it also translated my Spanish to English. It's it's impressive. Okay, getting getting there, getting there. Oh crap! This game is fun. That's a lot of fun. I'm impressed how good the text to speech is. Now ah, another knight from the future has arrived. Have you brought any tales of history unfold? Do share, my metallic friend. Hello. I have come back from Comic-Con, and this helmet is stuck to my head. Could you help me? Comic-Con, you say? That's just what they want you to believe. I can't risk helping someone who's trapped in a helmet at such a suspicious event. I don't want those mind-controlling aliens- What? <laughs> suspicious comic Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is not good. Knock on the door. Well, well, well. Look who's taking a break from probing cows and crop circles. What brings you to my so top secret lair, extraterrestrial enthusiast? Ah, I see you are a child of the universe and understand the deep mysteries that most humans do not. I am here to take you on a mystical journey. Wish they would apply with speech. Text to speech would be nice at the bare minimum. A mystical journey, huh? Well, I'm always up for some intergalactic exploration. But first, tell me, what kind of mystical journey are we talking about here? Dimension hopping, time bending, or perhaps some good old fashioned astral projection? Ah, it is similar to astral projection. It is 3D astral projection, where we do astral projection in an extra dimension. I'm just talking out my ass. 
3D astral projection in an extra dimension. Now you're talking my language. Count me in, my extraterrestrial amigo. Just let me get my tin hat and we'll be ready to transcend the boundaries of space. Excellent. Be sure the hat is on extra tight so it has the efficiency that you deserve. Hello. You can bet your shining flying saucer that my tin hat will be snug as a bug in a conspiracy theory rug. We'll be soaring through dimensions like UFOs in the night sky. Give me a moment to secure this trusty old headgear properly. No problem. Do you want some help? Hello. Well, I must admit I could use an expert touch securing my tin hat. Come on in, my international... Di interdimensional compadre. Just make sure... This... Yeah, yeah. We win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... And you're the government sent vampires! Oh, thanks for the follow as well. Glad you're enjoying the stream. I really need to fix my bot with the... The notifications. It just broke. Yeah. Okay, so now we're a believer. Hold on. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got this. Uh. Welcome to my secret lair. What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? I thought love was more or less a given thing, but more I gave, the less I got. Oh, yeah. What's the use in trying? All you get is pain. When I wanted sunshine, I got rain. Too long. <laughs> I thought love was more or less a giving thing, but more I gave, the less I got. Oh yeah. What's the use in trying? All you get is pain. When I wanted sunshine, I got rain. Oh, the words of love, it can be indeed a perplexing matter, full of twists and turns. Fear not, for I, pinky brain, shall help you navigate the treacherous waters of romance and conquer holiday. Together, we shall bring an end to your rainy days and usher the sunny revolution of love. And then I saw her face. Now, I am a believer, and not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Oh, the power of love. It can turn even the most skeptical of minds into believers. It seems you have found true love, my dear office worker. Embrace it with all your might for its force that can conquer the world. Together, we use it to further our plans for world domination. <laughs> Sounds great. Can you fill me in on your plans to help with the power of love? Ah, I see you're curious about my plans. Well, my dear office worker. My ultimate goal is to create a love serum that will deeply... Wait, that will make the world fall madly and deeply in love with me. With the power of love on my side, I will have an army of devoted followers who will follow, help me establish my reign over the world. But shush, it's that little secret. Now, I'm a believer. Not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love... I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Bravo. You have embraced the power of love wholehearted. Your commitment and belief are commendable. Come inside, my dear office worker, and join me in my quest for global... <laughs> 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 oh my god. I can't believe that word. Because I went with the stupid thing. It's like, yeah, I'm a dude that believes in UFOs. I am a believer. I can't believe that worked. The power of Smash Mouth, ladies and gentlemen. 
crap. Your auto singing brain is offended that my brain does automatically sing song lyrics when you realize it's song lyrics. Well, the, I had to say it because if I would have sung it, I would have ran out of time. That's why I had to speak it. Because singing takes longer to get a sentence out. Okay, I'm gonna try and so I'm gonna I'm going to try something even more ridiculous. Oh my god, stop. Why did that that made no sense? Why did it work? The dude was a mad scientist. One of the wanted to make the world fall in love with him? Like that's a fucking Looney Tunes plot. Come the Simpsons team, it won't pick it up. I I have I have I have an idea. Oh, they are making this really hard. They want me to lose. Yeah, this is. Okay. No way this works. Ugh, what's, what is this hot mess at my doorstep? And why are you lacking in the clothing department? As much as I would love to know where you got those fabulous alien ears, I'm afraid I'm not in the mood for business, so bye bye. I am Groot. Okay, listen here, Groot. I don't have any time for your little tree antics. Take your branches elsewhere before I have to call an exterminator. It recognizes Groot. It recognizes Groot. Okay, hold on. Hey there, what's with the getup? Did the strip club fire you too? I am Groot. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're a tree or something? Are you lost? Or are you just really into cosplay? I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Look, I don't know what kind of weird stuff you're into, but I'm not interested. In <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. But it recognizes Groot. Well, 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 if it isn't my ex's new squeeze, what brings you to my humble abode, buddy? Why are you knocking on my door for? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you, were, you weren't expecting anyone. I just thought you could use a friendly face after getting dubbed, but I guess I'll be going then. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, buddy, looks like you're ready to party like there's no tomorrow. What's the occasion? Oh, thank you for knocking on my door. You want to party, you say? I'm ready to party. Oh, um, actually, I was just admiring your outfit. I'm not really in the party mood tonight. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, if you're not in the mood to party, I guess you best be on your way and uh, head to your car. Oh, well, hold on now. No need to kick me out. Yeah, I may not be in the party mood, but I'm still here to chat if you want. What the f- What have I done? Oh, I have found, like, a, a rabbit hole here. <laughs> okay. That's funny. If you, if you, if you like, make it sound like they're the ones visiting, it, it breaks it a little. Oh, stop it. I need to hang out here for a minute. They need to move. Give it a sec.
Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to try? I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay, hold on. Who dumped you at the Christmas party? The Venga bus is coming and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco and inner city disco. Oh. <laughs> ah, the Venga bus takes me back to the good old days. But what's got you jumping and discoing here at my door? Hey now, hey now. Hear what I say now. Happiness is just around the corner now. Hang on. Let it, I messed it up. I didn't announce it that properly. Hey now, hey now. Hear what I say now. Happiness is just around the corner. Happiness, huh? I could use a little bit of that myself, but what brings you to my corner of the world? I've got something to tell ya. I've got news for you. Gonna put some wheels in motion. Get ready, cause we're coming through. Wheels in motion, huh? Sounds like well, you're ready to take on the one. So what's this exciting news you've got for me? The Venga bus is coming and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco and intercity disco. <laughs> now you're talking my language. Let's just go away to New York or San Francisco on that Venga bus. But before we hit the road, what's the real reason you're here? The wheels of steel are turning and traffic lights are burning. So if you'd like to party, get on and move your body. Party and moving our bodies, and that's what I'm talking about. Consider yourself officially invited. Let's get on that Venga bus and make some memories. I can't believe this worked. <laughs> I said nothing but the lyrics to that song. <laughs> oh my god. Could he use a little bit of change? I could, I could do that. I could do that too. Oh, crap. I just, I don't understand how... I mean, I had a real conversation with them. Like, I, I picked the correct lyric to go with what I was trying to tell them. This game is hilarious. It reminds you of that game where the divorcing couple invites you for dinner. I've been wanting to play that one. This is like a, I guess, a modern take on that. This is freakishly accurate at times when it comes to the voice recognition, but also just it figuring out context. Like, I made a pop culture reference and it knew what I was talking about. Why is that... Why is that guard wearing a... Wearing a Santa hat. Okay. Okay, I've got I've got a good one. Just need them to get lost. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh, you're like here to give me an early Christmas present? How simply fabulous. I bring you a present. The present of storytelling. Would you like your present? 
Oh, no thanks, I have enough presents. I definitely know idea. What did you just said if I had a present for you? Uh oh. <laughs> it's so infuriating sometimes. I'm like, okay, cool. This is a this is a thread that I can follow. It's like, imagine you're in an improv group and so you start a topic. And you bounce back with the person, and then the person immediately turns back and says, Nah. Fuck that. Okay. Who are you? Are you lost or something? What are you here at this hour? I need a beautiful young lady to listen to my story. Sorry, but I'm not interested in listening to your story. Perhaps find someone who actually cares. <laughs> you try to be funny. Ah, oh, praise to the heaven, the weary traveler of the night. In the name of our beloved savior, what brings you to my humble abode, the sacred Eve? Hello, father. I would like to read you a passage from this holy text, if you wouldn't mind. It's a great story. Ah, oh, passage from the holy text. How delightful. I'm eager to hear the words of wisdom that you have bestowed upon you. Please share your divine story with me. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there and tell you how I became a prince of a town called Bel Air. Oh, my dear friend, that was not quite the holy text I was anticipating. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. I'm afraid I must stick to the teachings of our beloved savior. Is there anything else I can help you with. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground was where I used to spend most of my days. <laughs> well, that's an intriguing tale about your upbringing, friend. But let us focus on your intent, your matters of salvation. Is there anything else you seek guidance on? Well, there were a couple of guys who were up to no good, started causing trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared. Hello. Oh, my dear friend, while I sympathize with the challenges you face, I must remind you that our conversation must revolve around matters of spirituality. If there is something troubling you in that regard, I am more than willing to offer guidance and support. Well, she's moving me in with my aunt and uncle in Bel Air, and I am troubled on a spiritual level. What should I do? <laughs> I empathize with your troubles, my friend, but I am unable to offer guidance on matters unrelated to spiritual enlightenment. Damn it! <laughs> I tried. I tried. Praise be heavenly friend. What brings you to this doorstep at your, at your late hour? Well, I moved to Bel Air and got hit by a car, and so here I am again. Oh, my dear angelic cyclist, I am deeply saddened to hear of your misfortune. But fear not, for I am here to offer you solace and guidance. Let me hear, listen to your tales of woe and see if there's any wisdom I may impart on you. This is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became a prince of a town called Bel Air. Uh. My goodness, dear angelic cyclist, your tales seem quite far-fetched. I'm afraid I must bid you farewell. Damn it. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Move, move, move. Too fresh. Yeah, well, I tried.
Yeah, he basically said, that sucks. I'm a priest. He did like the equivalent of, sir, this is a Wendy's to me. My goodness gracious, what a sight to behold. Welcome, my dear friend, to the haven of righteousness. How can I sit you on this particular night? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have committed sin against my closest friend. My child, the path to redemption starts with acknowledging one's mistakes. Tell me what transgression weighs heavily upon your soul. I ate his hot dog. Bless me! Such a heinous act! <laughs> what? <laughs> whoa, 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 what do you mean, heinous? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's one too far. Like, I... I cannot be salvaged. Praise be, welcome fellow, <laughs> spark of madness and mirth. How delightful it is to be graced by your presence, O noble jester of the realm. Let us rejoice in the eternal jest and dance of the tune as laughter. Hello, I am the fresh prince of Bel-Air. I am here to atone for my sins. Ah, the fresh prince of Bel-Air, our most captivating tale of redemption and growth. I applaud your willingness to atone, noble prince. Let us embark on a journey of spiritual enlightenment and penance, for it is never too late to seek redemption and seek find solace in the faith. Thank you, Father. My tale started many years ago. Would you like to hear it? Oh, I'm ever eager to listen to tales of transformation and redemption. Pray, regale me with your, with your details of your journey. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground was where I spent most of my days. Magnificent, the humble playground, the cradle of your youth, where the seeds of destiny were sown. Verily, the Lord works in mysterious worlds, for it is that very playground that your transformative journey began. Please, continue. Thank you, Father. I then found redemption in a bad situation where some guys were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. <laughs> oh, the trials and tribulations you face, noble prince. In the face of adversity, your resolve shone bright, and you found redemption amidst chaos. Please share me how you overcame those nefarious miscreants, for your story fills me with anticipation. I lost the immediate battle. But I did not lose the war, Father, for you see, I moved in with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. A miracle! The hand of divine intervention guided you to the loving embrace of your auntie and uncle in Bel Air, where a new chapter of your life began. Surely their guidance and support played a vital part in your journey. Please, noble prince, do tell me more of that wondrous experience that awaits you in the illustrious city of Bel Air. My cousin invented a holy dance that made the family popular. It's called the Carlton Dance. The hell? Hallelujah! The Carlton Dance, a sacred movement that spreads joy and mirth to all who witness it. I am truly captivated by the wonders you have shared, noble prince. Your heart is clearly filled with righteous of redemption. I extend the most fervent invitation. Wow! I got it! <laughs> <laughs> I just had to spin the story. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Oh, boy. Unbelievable. Oh, this has been wild.
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> what now? Can't you see it's way past my bedtime, Magic Man? What's the fuss about? Hello, young lady. Someone came to my confessional and admitted they stole your hot dog. I would like to discuss the matter so that you may find peace. Who the heck do you think you are sneaking around and accusing me of losing my precious hot dog? Get out of here, you precious hot dog. What, what do you mean, precious hot dog? <laughs> what do you mean, precious hot dog? Well, well, if it isn't a lost camper, how quaint. What brings you to my door at this ungodly hour, sweetie? I'm sorry, did you say something? Mm. Ugh, never mind, it was clearly a mistake to even acknowledge you. Goodbye, loser. Damn. <laughs> I want to mess with the logic. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. Oh my gosh, look at you living the corporate clone life. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Why are you knocking on my door for? Uh, of course you wouldn't understand the cops are making efforts to connect with your neighbors. Goodbye. Damn it. Okay. Hold on. Oh, shit. They're guarding that one really, really well. What ha- There's three houses that are left, so we're pretty close to the end here. Got it. Oh! Well, this one's gonna be easy. Konnichiwa, my dear visitor. I must admit, I can't help but wonder. You're standing sans shirt and pants outside my door. Do you have a reason for this unusual wardrobe? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Konnichiwa, my friend. I am here to invite you to a cat made cafe. Oh, wow. Cat made cafe. That sounds absolutely perfect. I can't resist cute Neko girls serving me delicious treat. Count me in, but could you at least cover up a bit before we go? It's important to dress appropriately for such a kawaii establishment. Do you have any kawaii cat outfits that you can lend me? Wow. Oh, 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 you're in luck, my friend. As a devoted kawaii fashion enthusiast, I happen to have a collection of adorable cat-themed outfits. I can lend you one. But I must insist that you promise to take good care of it and return it promptly. Kawaii fashion is a sacred art after all. Don't worry, I would take good care of your pussy outfit. Ow. Yeah, that's completely inappropriate. <laughs> Damn it. All right, he picked up on it. I was trying to be clever. What do you mean cat? It means cat. All right, hold on. Uh-oh. Wait, did he just put- he, did he just put on the cat ears? What? I was gonna wear them. Oh, crap. Oh, it's clear you lack the basic social skills to engage. I'm not wasting any more impressions. <laughs> Accident, I keep... Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm starting my beauty sleep? I hope whatever you have is worth interrupting my important schedule. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to gaze upon your beautiful face before leaving town forever. Mm. Nice try, but I have zero interest in your lame attempts at flattery. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well. Oh, shit. How festive. Are you here to sprinkle some holiday cheer, or are you just lost on your way to the North Pole? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mumbo number five. Oh, oh, seriously? Mumbo number five? That's a song that said last millennium. Can't believe you're still living in the past, but whoever floats your... your angel wings. Well, if Mumbo number five is outdated, I heard there's a Mumbo number six for you trendy people. Excuse me? I am at the epitome of trainers. There's no such thing as Mumbo number six. You must be totally mistaken. Yes, there is! Damn it. Didn't work. Ay, 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 kawaii ugu. Oh my gosh, you're speaking my language. Kawaii ugu indeed. So tell me, what's your favorite anime? Mine is definitely Sailor Moon. Samurai Pizza Squadron 7. Wow, Samurai Pizza Squadron 7 sounds like a totally awesome anime. I've never heard of it before. I must add it to my watch list immediately. What's it about? It's about samurais who take pizza, pasta, then they put it in a box and deliver it to the house of their leader. That sounds like the most epic delivery ever. I can't wait to see all the samurai slicing pizza with their katanas. Do they have special moves and special toppings? They have a special topping indeed. Once they place it on their leader's cock. Cock, cock, cock. Cheesy on the peony and sauce on the balls. You have crossed the line of decency. <laughs> I knew he was going to hate it. They don't like it when you go lewd or sexual or swear. Okay, for reals though. Anime, gods, welcome to a humble abode. Okay. Kawaii Ugu, let's go to a maid cafe. Um, I apologize, but I don't think a maid cafe is quite my cup of tea. Thanks for the offer, though. And yeah, what? What? Oh, because I didn't say cat cafe? Uh-oh, get in here. Because it wasn't a cat cafe? Ah. Konnichiwa. Okay. Konnichiwa, ohayo gozaimasu. Hawaii Ugu, would you like to go to a slime girl cat maid cafe? Oh my gosh, that sounds just so kawaii. I'd love to go to a sla slime girl cat maid cafe. But Senpai, can you tell me more about it? I want to make sure it's the most sugoi experience ever. It is extra sugoi. You go there and the girls serve you tea. And they're dressed up in their little slime outfits with cat ears. 
Very kawaii. But Catfell would get stuck in her slime and it would be all dirty. That's the point. It's dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds like a dream come true. I can all already imagine adorable they must look. Nay, nay. Can you recommend any other quiet places to visit? Well, if slime girls and cat girls don't get your kawaii otaku fix, there's also a cafe where you can dress like a dog boy. Eh, dress like a dog boy, yeah? That sounds so unique and different. I'm totally intrigued. Can you tell me more about this cafe? I can already picture myself getting all kawaii and wagging my tail. Woof, woof. That didn't work. <laughs> okay. You get on all fours, and if you say woof, woof, they'll give you a free doggy treat. Super kawaii doggy treat. That's a little too extreme for me, senpai. I don't think I can handle being on all fours and barking like a dog. It's just not my cup of tea. Damn it! I need to stick the landing. Oh, 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 I have, I have an idea. Okay, okay. I got this. Yeah, I live a little, right? Doesn't want to get slimed by slime cat girls and doesn't want to get on all fours and bark like a dog. Kind of weeboo is he? Okay. Konnichiwa. Come aboard and bring along all your hopes and dreams. Together we'll find everything that we're looking for. One piece. Oh, I love your positive vibes and adventurous spirit, like a true Nakama. You've got me singing the One Piece theme song now. Wow, it recognizes it. So he's seeking, he's searching for the treasure. Compass left behind, it'll only slow us down. Your heart will be your guide. Raise the sails and take the helm. <laughs> Yatta, your spirit is contagious. Let's sail on this epic journey together, seeking new horizons and spreading love and happiness. Come on in, fellow adventurer. Let's talk. I can't believe the One Piece the, the One Piece theme verbatim. <laughs> This can't be the end cr I can't believe it. <laughs> it just took two... Two sentences from the One Piece theme. I can't believe that worked. I wasn't going to attempt to do the Japanese version because I wouldn't have done it justice, but the Japanese version is way more catchy. We're nearly there, I just need to... So who's left? There's the lady... That is just very temperamental. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ah, 
Hello. I heard that you like fabulous things. And I heard that you're a fan of fabulous hot dogs, so I have some free fabulous hot dogs. Mm. Free hot dogs? Do I look like someone who eats free food? My diet consists of only high end gourmet delicacies, but nice try, accountant. Oh, these are special gourmet hot dogs, not the regular kind that you find at a supermarket. They're extra thick and long. Mm. Gourmet hot dogs, extra thick and long, you say? Hmm. Does pique my interest a little, but I'm not convinced yet. What makes those hot dogs fabulous, accountant? They're organic, and because of their girth, they're extra satisfying. Not something that you'd find at your supermarket. <laughs> organic, huh? Well, I suppose that does add a touch of sophistication. And you're right, you won't find something of this caliber at a regular supermarket. But accountant, why are you so eager to impress me with these hot dogs? Because a man isn't a man if he doesn't have the capability of providing a good hot dog. Mm. Oh, please. I can't believe you think impressing me with hot dogs is going to win you any favors. Next time, try impressing me with something that actually matters. Really? Oh, wait. It's not, not door close. Oh, I'm not trying to impress you. I just simply knew that you were fabulous, and I wanted to become more like you, so I brought these hot dogs. Well, oh, finally, someone who recognizes my fabulousness. I must say, your taste in role models is impeccable. I suppose I can spare a few moments to educate you on the way of fabulousness. Come on in, and let's discuss hot dogs and fabulousness for <laughs> gourmet feast. Excellent. I'll bring the extra meaty hot dogs. Let's talk. Hello. Perfect. I can already tell this is going to be a start of a fabulous friendship. Bring those extra meaty hot dogs, accountant. Let's indulge. <laughs> ah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Uno mas. Can't resist the power of a hot dog. Oh, man. Okay. I'm nearly there. I don't know who's left. Ooh, careful. I can't jump that. I need to be careful. Holy crap, there's so much police. Oh, how delightful. I must say. It's a rare occasion to be graced by your present. Presence, Regina? I'm here to serve as someone of your stature. Okay. We're leaving together, but it's still farewell. And maybe we'll come back to Earth Who Can Tell. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I don't have the faintest idea what you're prattling on about. Good day. Damn it. I wanted to win the final. Uh-oh. Mm. I can't comprehend your... <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Wear hat. Get out of here. Ooh, shit. In the house. Hide. Okay, I have to hang out here for a minute. Okay. Just keep an eye out. Thank you, camera. Mm. 
Hello, I am Duke Sir Higglesfield III, Chesterbottom. Might I trouble you for a spot of tea? Oh, oh how utterly quaint a duke indeed. I'm terribly sorry, I'm a fresh out of tea at the moment. However, being a connoisseur of fine beverages, I could offer you a glass of sparkling water, if that suits your refined taste. Ah, a glass of sparkling water sounds splendid. I also have some sparkling water from the rivers of Everest, if you would like to partake in a beverage. Oh. Sparkling water from the rivers of Everest? You say, how intriguing, I must say. I'd be most delighted to sample such a wear and exquisite beverage. Pray, do share a glass with me and let us revel in this delightful liquid refreshment. Pip pip. Pip pip indeed, your enthusiasm is infectious. I must admit, I am intrigued by your peculiar charm and the stories you must have to share. Perhaps we should move this conversation inside and continue the merry exchange or a glass of this remarkable sparkling water you possess. I also have baked beans. Do you like baked beans? Ah, baked beans, you say? Well, while they're not the epitome of elegance and refinement, I must confess they do have a rustic appeal. I suppose, in the spirit of gastronomic exploration, I could indulge in a spoonful or two. Pray, do enlighten me. What's your preferred method of baking said beans? I bake my beans in only the finest of kilns, where the bricks have been sourced from the volcanoes in Hawaii. Yeah. Bravo! Baking beans in kilns with volcanic bricks from Hawaii? My dear Sir Higglesfield, you have truly elevated the art of <laughs> bean baking. I, what, what did that say? I couldn't read it. <laughs> beans on toast! Congratulations on completing Suck Up the Early Access. Yatta. <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was suck up. Hope you enjoyed the insanity that that was this. I'll be curious to see what they add to this. I mean, to be honest, already it's entertaining enough that it's it's worth the price of admission. <laughs> but these kind of games are cool. Like this is this is a use of AI that I can get on board with. It's just it's great. So maybe we might see more of this in future if uh, the updates are significant enough that it's worthy of doing another run of it. I think this would be much more funny if it just did text-to-speech. Like, that's the only piece of feedback I'd give this. The text-to-speech would just make this so unhinged if it read some of that stuff that I got it to say. But, yeah. It was cool breaking it at times. All right, well... If you are watching this later on YouTube, thank you for sticking around to the end and hope you enjoyed the quick look at this. And uh, if you want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just click that like button. Or you can also watch me play other things if you click one of the videos that pop up on your screen. Either way, it does help out the channel out a lot. So thank you to those that do do that. I appreciate it. But yeah, we'll uh, maybe see more of this in the future. Alright, take care, YouTube.